Hey everybody, Chris Johnson's back on here. He is in Kentucky. He's more than halfway home, I think. Yeah, easy. Um, he had a fun travel yesterday. <laughs> I didn't go with him virtually. He went on his own and he made it. So anyway, uh, thanks everybody for coming. Like I, it is the 21st of April and beautiful here in New Jersey, maybe a little cloudy, but hey, it's getting springtime, getting springtime. Uh, we did test out that go live button. It is amazing. So quick. Boom, boom, you're in, right? You can set it up, chat with somebody. It's almost like it's almost like Skype on steroids. A little bit of Skype, a little bit of instant message. Oh, it's pretty cool. Very fast. And and only people there. And remember, it's not a webinar, it's a conference. So only people on the panel will be there. So it's pretty cool. Uh, another thing today is Sunday, so pretty quiet day. Other than at two o'clock, we have guess what? We have a Heroes webinar where you can ask questions. It's one of the only ones left that answers questions. So if you got a question you want it answered, go there at two o'clock. Don't be beating around the bush. That's where you want to go. They they will tell you the truth, and if they don't know, they'll say, we don't know. It's our opinion, okay? That's what you need to do. Uh, I'm going to start hitting around Thursday. It looks like tentative Thursday, big meeting, getting the African nation together, all under one roof. Oh, yeah, all of them, baby. Yeah, I think that's so cool. I think it's about time. We've celebrated India. We've celebrated North America, South America. Now it's time to go on to all the whole continent of Africa. I love it. I love it. We're expanding there. We might as well have one big meeting. I know uh, Dr. Tarek, I don't know if he's a doctor. He should be. <laughs> Dr. Tarek has signed a lot of agreements with different people, and they're teaming up with people. I mean, companies and countries, and oh, my gosh. All for us, right? Remember that. We're, anytime they do something, a signature's made, an, um, a collaboration's going on, it's for us, which is mind-blowing. And I'm going to say this. This is my opinion. What we don't know, Dr. Tarek Tenwani, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, whoever did that. It went by so fast, I couldn't say. Yeah, he writes books. He's a writer. He's a teacher. He's He's a brain, really unbelievable. But And what did he do? He joined on Parasub. You tell me why. Why do these people that could go anywhere on the planet come to Unpassive? Come on. Let's use our minds. Let's use our imagination. <clears throat> anyway, so like we've been saying kind of the, uh, if you didn't get a chance, they'll go back to 360 where Michael Williams did Catmo, he did a very, very good job. Uh, you should listen to it. Uh, and, and and the main theme, I believe, uh, I, I've been doing it, Chris has been doing it, is let's go with the flow, okay? Let's not worry about stuff we have no control over. I'm going to tell you something. Could you imagine? I know that there was a hiccup. I know the merchants kind of dropped the ball. And I know we, you know, oh, man, the company lost millions, tens of millions, no doubt about it. But. Let's look at the bright side, if there can be one. And there's always a bright side. The Oak Connect we have now, shut the front door. Shut the front door. I love it. It is amazing. It, you know, that's one baby come out and you go, now is that a beautiful kid or what? Because don't lie, some babies come out and, you know, bang, you know, little gremlins. I don't know what they are, but. Somebody say, my baby cute? And you're like, oh, you don't want to lie, you know. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love kids. I, I'm surrounding myself with kids all the time. Hey, Shorty, can I get a Casey Zemmenberg in? There we go. He's got it. He's got it. Anyway, um, like I said, happy Sunday. I'm pretty stoked up. Uh, I'm glad that. People are working together. We we went on trivia last night, and there was no trivia. Nobody showed up. Now, very few people. 
but it gave us a chance to chat with each other. Minna went on a vacation, a needed vacation. She works like a crazy woman. She works a full-time job, and then she is OD'd on, on Bassett for sure. Um, but like I said, work together. Try to team up with somebody. I think you would be surprised if you could team up with somebody because, you know, me and Chris teamed up. Uh, we have different different strengths, right? I mean, Chris is happy-go-lucky, makes people laugh. I'm probably funnier than him, but I don't want to say that because I would be ignorant. I'm just kidding. But no, he keeps people happy, got a big heart. That's probably why we got together. I know people think, oh, more do you mean? I'm not mean. Don't you ever tell me I'm mean. No, I'm just kidding. No, but I'm not mean. I care about the company. I care about everybody in it. And yes, I'm kind of a mother hen, kind of a a sheep sheepdog where I'm worried about. I want to make sure everybody gets the best of the best. And one day we're all going to celebrate together. Look, I tell you what, for one of the old blessed, how about we all pitch in and buy an island and have like fantasy island there, right? We call it on passive island. Oh, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. We could have Captain Chris take it out on little three-hour tours. Yeah, because you know you ain't coming home. You know what I mean? You know you ain't coming back. I'm just kidding. But, no, it'd be a lot of fun. We're going to do things together, I hope. Um, my wife is already looking at different addresses, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And, and 42 years of wanting something different. Yeah. She's she looking crazy, if you know what I mean. I just told her I want a big living room, extra room for people to stay, and I'm good to go. I want a swimming pool. Why? Because I love swimming. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do. But anyway, uh, keep your eyes open. <clears throat> Remember, we got S-A-A-S, okay? Which, what does that mean? That means that every time there's an update or an upgrade or uplift or new feature, they just plug it in. But we don't have to download it. We don't have to, you know, like on your phone, you have to download the upgrades. They're not really upgrades. Sometimes they're mistakes and they're fixing it. They just call it an update. But anyway, keep going back there. You'll see new stuff, new features. I notice fonts are bigger where you'd look before they're a little too small. I notice when you log in now, the background of where you put your email and your passwords, different color, kind of a gray color. Beautiful. Just everything about Unpassive is just getting, it, you know what's cool? Unpassive is classy. It really is. It's a classy setup. When I go in, I, I just, I feel proud when I can show this to people. And I'm going to tell you something. We get the okay and things get moving. We're going to blast this thing. And whoever wants to share it, I will show you. I will show whoever wants to, if I can, how to share it. Not market it. You never heard me say that. You don't have to market and I'm passive. You have to point, go here, or go there. That's it. I'm passive does everything else. And we think we say, we have AI now, we, we haven't touched the surface. AI is going to expand unbelievable stuff in on passive. Many things we don't even know. But like, you know, I'm seeing now where they're using AI for detecting currents. Uh, they're using it for how to feed the world because it can read the landscape where you should plant, where you shouldn't. No joke. I mean, everybody's worried about iRobot or something, but you got to start looking at what it's going to do for us. That's the main reason it was it was even developed is to enhance man's life and woman, women. No joke. Remember that. Uh, oh, well, people are going to do bad. Yeah, but they're going to they can do bad now. Uh, I think cryptocurrency is a good thing to have, get, good thing to learn. But I want to tell people now. I know there's people around the world, Africa, India, and I'm going to make this really clear. Some people, they hear crypto, and then you'll get somebody around you that says, we have to have crypto, and they start pushing crypto on you. That's not the case. It's one method of paying. That's it. Don't worry about jumping in on crypto. Do I think you should learn it? Yeah, but not forced to. We're not selling crypto. We're not pushing crypto. It's just a good thing to learn if you can, but it's not necessary, okay? It's not necessary. Um, uh, 
somebody just wrote what we see now is enough convincing 100 percent 100 percent if you look at what we've done where we've been i don't care it, to me i don't have to know all the details of where we're going and i'm going to tell you something right now this is this is the truth have i heard things maybe a little ahead of time very rarely do i ask no does chris ask never well even if we do talk to ash and all that we don't come up and say, hey uh, what do you got cooking you know we don't play that we don't know we don't do it i know people think we do we really don't now i could tell you this anytime i might have heard something and i'll tell you why people think i might know more than i do maybe some maybe sometimes a little but let me give you the, the facts because i followed on passive so close because i love on passive i will make i believe this is going to happen and it does and people say oh, i knew you knew no 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 i'm following it so close that my opinion is this step that i'm talking about has to happen right that's all i'm saying when i say it i'll say okay we're going to get bonuses and this and this and then the new products will come out the uh, the new packages yeah but how do you know that common sense why because we're going to pay twice and then we'll never pay out of pocket again how can you do that if you don't get all the bonuses and the payments to everybody that have them coming now you know the company's goal this is the goal this is what Ash wants. this is one of his main things he wants everybody to get enough money that they don't have to pay again for the products could there be a few that don't yes so you'd be paused or you add a few bucks to make the difference and go but my point is even if you had to be paused in some cases somebody might be paused for an hour okay because it's going to start moving once the payment processes and things get in get put in place and we have different packages we can purchase it's going to flow like a river i believe that like a like a rapid river okay i believe that and and the reason i'm saying is i've said this to people that i go to talk to in, in, in uh trivia here's something very important i want to say and i'm going to turn it over to chris chris is in a hot spot so he can't stay on <clears throat> i want you to think about the people that will come in from different places like zoom and all that they come in what are they going to see they're going to see better quality i mean that's fact that's not a lie i wouldn't say it if i didn't believe it and, and they can come look for themselves but on top of that they're going to see more features that's fact that's not my opinion it's just the way it is they're going to see a lot less cost that's a fact it's not my opinion what happens when they come in and they go wow this is pretty cool what's it cost and you tell them there's two things going to happen one is i'm coming over here two is and i don't think a lot of us thought about this i've said it a couple times i would be upset because i would look at like man they ripped me off how can this company give me all this for that price and they charge me 50 60 percent more i'd be mad then what happens I would tell everybody using it to come here. That's not marketing. That's sharing. That's where we're going to go viral. That's my opinion. That's my humble opinion. I'm going to turn it over to Chris because I he is in a hot spot. So go ahead, Chris. Yes, I am in a hot spot. Good morning. Good morning, Marty. Very good. Uh, let me introduce you to my son real quick. He's my Kentucky Hillbilly son. Come over here, Jojo. I wish I can grow a beard like this. This is Joey Lawrence Johnson, my son. Um, my grandkids are at home. He came and visited me this morning. I seen him late last night. Joey is just awakening to passive. He's been in it for three and a half years. And probably the last seven months, he finally got it. So he's been making all kind of YouTube videos I've been sharing. And he's going crazy on it. So look out for this bearded hillbilly boy coming up go. soon. Here you come. <laughs> Want to say anything there, buddy? No, good. He's good shy. He ain't like his daddy, that's for sure. <laughs> all right listen i'm wearing glasses and you know me i'm not afraid i don't care what i look like 
all right, I'm, I'm a little disarrayed today and a long day. This is why I got my glasses on. Look at my eyes, how beat up they are. You see? This is called allergies and driving for 15 hours. But I'm here. That's what I like. I'm only covering them up because I, I look pretty bad. But um, what I wanted to talk about today was a little bit what I did yesterday when I was realizing. I did do a quick live on my YouTube, which I don't normally do when I want to start doing. Um, and I'm going to ask if you guys want to, if you haven't, jump on my YouTube, like, and subscribe. I haven't been really pushing that. I kind of wish I did because I'm not done traveling and I want to start going on my YouTube instead of my Facebook and, and, and talking to people and getting it out there. So uh, if you got a YouTube, I will join yours too. But I want to do this stuff on my YouTube as I'm doing my traveling. It's uh, it's interesting. I want it all documented and everything like that. I want to apologize to the people in, oh my God, where was I? South Carolina, North Carolina. I zipped through there. Not zipped through. I'll explain in a minute. And I missed a couple of people. Don't worry. I'll be back. I'll be back. I had to get to my son and his family <laughs> as fast as I could because I was tired. I wasn't supposed to be here yet. I was supposed to be like maybe two hours away. And I said, no, no, Dad, come on. We got a campground for you. And when we got here, the campground, it was the, it was 10 o'clock at night. I couldn't see nothing. And we were driving on some scary roads, and, and we made it. And I'm backed into here. And the greatest thing is, in here, it was it was 40-some degrees when I woke up this morning. And guess what? I ran out of propane again. So I, was, I woke up. It was 52 degrees in my bus. Thank God I got a heater, a portable heater. So me and my son are going to go for a drive today and get some propane. And I passed all these places up. But anyway, let me talk what I want to talk about before my hot spot goes crazy. Uh, as I was driving yesterday, I realized this is the longest vacation or road trip I've ever taken in my life. Now, Hence, I am retired. Hence, I don't have no place to be. I don't have, unless it's, you know, going to visit family or whatever. And I thought, I'm just going to take my time. And I'm driving through there in between South Carolina and North Carolina. I come across, I don't even know where I was at. And I'm in the middle of Mountainville, man. I'm surrounded by mountains. I tried doing a live, a cutoff. I had no reception. And I was nervous, but it wasn't bad because when I came here, it was snowing and icy and ugly. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, is this beautiful. So what did I do? I slowed my bus down to like 55 miles an hour. I was going about 65. And I sat there and I just enjoyed the view. Remember I talked about looking out my window at a different view every day. And I realized that this is what a passive is going to be like. And I'm practicing for a passive right now. Everyone's saying, Jay, hi, Gene. Uh, they're all saying hi to you, buddy. So... <laughs> As I'm driving, I'm thinking, I don't have to be anywhere that I don't want to. Um, I could take my time, and I'm thinking, my whole life I have rushed. I rushed to work for 32 years. Um, I rushed to get home from work. I rushed to watch a TV show. Everything we do, we're rushing. You got to rush to the bathroom when you got to go, right? Everything that you do in life is a rush. You're rushing to pick your kids up from school. You're rushing to drop your kids off from school. Every Think about it. Everything you do is about rushing. When a pass that takes off, like my retirement, and I'm just starting to realize this now. Matter of fact, I did not know what day it was. And I asked my son, what is today anyway? No idea. Okay? Robert St. Joey. So I just realized that this is great. My entire 50, I'm 58 now, we'll say 53 years, 54 years, was nothing but rush. Everything. And I'm letting you know, founders, resellers, affiliates, whatever you want to call yourself today, this is great. Knowing that you could just get into an RV or a plane or a boat and just go and not, how many, if you have, you're lucky. Have ever said, hey, let's just get in the car and drive somewhere. Let's drive through the United States without rushing. Oh, we got a honey, if you're married. Honey, we got to be there at this time. And I don't wear a watch, if you noticed. I don't know what day it is, if you noticed. Get used to this kind of life. This is what it's going to be like. Now, my opinion, things are going to start happening here really, really. Wait a minute. Let me you, scratch, erase, reverse. Things are already happening in passive. All right. 
They really are. Every day is something new, like that button, that new button that we just seen. He's got so much more, but I'm going to give you a new button. This is the new button. This is the Chris Johnson button. It's called time and freedom. And when you're in that passive and everything's flowing, you hit the time and freedom button. Now you can go anywhere you want without talking or telling anybody, just going. Think about it. How about pulling up to a gas station and not worrying about how much gas is a gallon, which I've been doing all the way up, all the way back. And it goes all over. But imagine just pulling up to a gas station, fill it up. 55-gallon tank I got in this big old hog. So not worrying about it. All right? Uh, getting back into the RV and saying, where am I going next? Okay. My cousin talked me to taking a different route, which was I-95. I'm talking to DeGarmo. He's got me on a tracker. Hey, what are you coming to see me? Not yet. Why? I found out from Florida, I could come right to see Marty DeGarmo and take I-95 all the way down. I said, no, no. I got to veer off west. Ended up in South Carolina. I went through, I didn't know I was in North Carolina. I got up to gas up and I looked at the lady and I said, I kind of feel silly. Can you please tell me what state I'm in? And right away, here comes that accent. Oh, did you come through the mountains? Yeah, I came through the mountains. <laughs> You're in North Carolina. And I didn't even know that. So there are people <laughs> in North Carolina, South there, Carolina, don't worry. I'll be back. I'll catch you. But what beautiful states those were. Never seen them in my life. I've never seen the United States in my life. That's what I want to do. But because of I'm passive, I'm doing it. But I want you to understand and start practicing. Now, let's say you got to get up for work uh, next week, which you probably do. And that alarm clo clock goes off. Turn your alarm clock off. And for five seconds before you get out of bed, think very soon. Very soon. Okay, let's say five months, six months. Say you got nobody. I don't have to worry about that alarm clock. Matter of fact, I'm going to set my alarm clock just so I could yell at it and say, I don't need you anymore. And then I'm going to get up and I'm going to go do what I want to do. How many of you said that every Monday? I hate Mondays. I don't want to go to work. Then it's Tuesday. I don't want to go to work. Man, you guys have said this your whole lives. I did. 32 years I said it. 32 years I listened to an alarm clock. Ding! It's a heart attack. Shouldn't be called alarm clock. It's a heart attack clock. Once you're out cold and, the, and something blares at you, it's the, the most it's the most unhealthiest thing that you can do. Wake up to an alarm, alarm clock. A lot of people don't realize it, but we do it. We did it. I worked afternoons. I didn't have alarm clocks, so that kind of eased my burden there. But think again. You're driving around right now, and you have no idea where you're going. But you love it because there's no place that you got to be. Every morning when you wake up, set a destination in your mind of where do I want to go? Start practicing that. Now, you don't have to drive, drive around in an RV. You can do it in your car. Uh, or you can go to the airport and fly. Uh, and, and that's the cool thing is we're not realizing this. A lot of people don't realize the time and freedom. We talk about products. We talk about AI but again, we don't talk a lot about that time and freedom. Marty brought it up a few times today. The time and freedom to live where you want to live. The time and freedom to go where you want to go. The time and freedom to get rid of time and say, hello, freedom. That's the greatest thing about this company. And what's coming at us, oof. What's coming at us, guys, is a oof, I say. It's going to be so big and beautiful and all the stuff you've been waiting. We have got Marty's been in here over five years. And people say, you haven't made any money. Well, that's not true. Okay. Yep. When we started, people made money. Uh, are we waiting? Oh, something came up. Yep. Something came out, had to be fixed. He fixed it. I want you to think back how many things that were he and his journey, Ash, to things went wrong and he turned around and fixed it. How many times it happened and we're yet we're still here. We still have one million. 400,000 original founders or account holders, they're still here. Why? Because they got hope and faith in this company that's going to change their lives, which we know it's going to. That's why people are still here. People don't want to go to work the rest of their lives. Some of you that are working 40 years probably right now, and we ask ourselves, what do we do it for? It's crazy, crazy, crazy. But time and freedom was my goal. Helping people, another goal. And where I'm driving around, Wherever I'm at, I can help people, no matter what. Uh, I went, I'm went. i in Kentucky now, and it's cold. 
But I know there's a lot of people in Kentucky that are standing out in the corner right now or out, out, out looking for a job or food or whatever it is. Um, some of the nicest places in the world have homelessness. Some of the nicest places in the world have people on the streets have mental disorders. That's the stuff we have to look at. That's how we're going to better the world by helping individuals out that necessarily someone, they got lost. We're going to find them again. We're going to help them get back to what's, what's normal and put them in place and let them fly. Let them, let them travel the world because we weren't born just to work. I, I hate to break the news to you. If, if I knew I was going to be born just to work, I might've just stayed in the womb a little longer, <laughs> you know, but think about it. We're born to work. It's a pattern. You're, you're born. Mom and dad raise you. You go to school. You go to college, maybe. Uh, in, in some cases, you get married and then you get a job. It should be the other way around, but it happens. All of a sudden, you have kids. Everything is in order. Change the order. Change the order what? around. Yeah, I think school is important. I think education is important. But how about being able to go to any school that you want to? How about sending your kids or your grandkids to the schools that are the best of the best? To me, there's time and freedom right there. A pass is not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. I know DeGarmo ain't going nowhere. He was messing with me yesterday. I was loving it. Uh, and by the way, Mr. Collins Manna, uh, if I ever was to drop and fail, you're definitely there. But he wasn't filling in for me. Collins is a uh, regular every other day or whenever we got something big because he's a great speaker. So, Collins, thank you for coming in and doing what, what you're supposed to do when you come on Alive with Marty DeGarmo. Uh, I love you for that, man. But time and freedom. Now what I'm going to do now, my son's here. I'm going to unplug this bus. We're going to go get some breakfast. We're going to go put some propane in the heater. And we're going to do go get the grandkids and take them for a ride. It should be fun. Why? Time and freedom. Right now. What is today, Joe? It's Sunday? Sunday? Oh, it's Sunday. If you're going to church, go to church, by the way. I'm in a different state now. But that's right, Marty. It's Sunday. I didn't even think about that. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Uh, no, I don't drink. Once in a while, I have a drink. I don't do drugs. Even though my eyes say different, the best drug in the world I've ever had is Unpassive. It's taken me to that Unpassive Island Marty was talking about, uh, where my imagination can run wild. And I've I've said this, let your imagination run wild. And I mean, let it go crazy. Because this is all about to start happening soon. And you're all going to be able to enjoy it. Now, it isn't going to happen day one. For some people, it's going to. For some people, it's going to. I'm not going to lie. that it's been in here for five, six years because they built a humongous organization. And some of us have to wait a little longer. I'm one of those people. I'm one of those people that's going to wait a little longer. And that's okay because I know what's coming. We all know that Christmas comes every year, December 25th. November, we start buying and shopping and doing all that stuff. So you're not passive. You don't got to buy and shop anything, but you know it's coming. It's not only coming December 25th. It's coming every single day of the year, 365 days a year. We got Ho, 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 Ash Mafara bringing us all kind of presents on that sleigh. So get crazy, get wild, stay excited, and be positive. Push yourself like you've never been pushed before for your imagination. Because everything else is done for you. Uh, if you got a birthday today, I didn't look. Happy birthday. I do want to add another individual on the prayer list today, which is uh, Tony Monk's grandchild. Uh, say some prayers for her. Not sure what's going on with it. And everyone else I've announced this week because I am i don't even know where I put my notes. There's somewhere that I hit a bump and I hit my head and <laughs> I'm all over the place. Marty DeGarmo, back to you. I think I covered everything. You definitely covered a lot, that's for sure. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up. It's Sunday. <clears throat> Sunday. I'm glad everybody came. Chris, you enjoyed the day with your son. See your grandchildren. And uh, you'll be home in a few days, a week, whatever, five days. And uh, we'll finally get you back to work instead of goofing off. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, this is part of it, right? He he did lives while he was traveling. It was, it's a, it's a great business. I hate to call it a business because it's really not. It's a lifestyle. A lifestyle that you, you get paid for. Crazy. Anyway, see you all and have a great day. And Minnow, 
I loved your uh, your videos you sent from Mexico. 